Hi folks, my name's Fred, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd make a quick video on my latest steam engine, currently air powered. Uh, it's two cylinder, double acting, uh, runs a six inch cast iron flywheel that has 18 neodymium magnets on it. The stroke is three inches the bore is an inch and a quarter and what it what it is is a wobbler engine or an oscillating engine and I'll, I'll get a, sh a close up of the valving here and show you how the, the the air distributes but the the field the magnetic field of these uh, rotating magnets in a, induces uh, an electrical field in this coil here. This is a, almost a half a mile <laughs> of copper wire and then a little string of, of LEDs. Our grandson and granddaughter like to see the steam engines do something. So this is for them. We've had generators that are belt driven. We have generators that are friction driven off the flywheel but this one actually induces the current right from the magnet into the coil and it's it'll be cool because you can see that, that the coil is not touching the magnets at all so a good demonstration of magnetism so let's get you up closer here and uh, I'm gonna go handheld so please pardon the uh, the uh, vibrations okay the steam or actually the air currently we're not even registering air, any air pressure here it's, the needles right on the pin uh, the steam or air comes in through here into this manifold here and then up, up this tower in this tower holes on the inside and then splits off uh, here 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 and here and that's the supply of air to the engine the exhaust ports for the engines or for the pistons are here and here uh, What's, what was cool about this project is I cast the cylinders myself. I have a little foundry, nothing special. But when I cast the aluminum, I use uh, alder old alternator bodies, screen doors, any pieces of aluminum I have around. And I, I pour it into a, a sand mold, a Petrobon mold. It comes out like this, and then I turn it in a lathe. Now these two cylinders right here are two cylinders for my next project which is going to be a much larger engine and that'll be this winter. You can see the, the difference in the size here. Okay, I'm going to put you back on the tripod. Again, pardon the Okay, we're going to rev it up a little bit. You can see the faster it goes, the brighter the lights. Now that's about three pounds of air. So we're going to crank it up to five pounds. That's five pounds of air. You can see that the magnets travel past the coil more rapidly and the lights will now stay on. Persistence of vision looks like those lights are on solid. We'll run it up a little bit more. We'll put 10 pounds on. That's 10 pounds of air. It's actually quite a powerful little engine. It could do a lot more work than it's doing. Okay, we'll run it up to 20 pounds. I don't know if you can see it, but right there it's on 20 pounds. Sounds pretty good. We'll 
run it down to like five pounds. The base is uh, five eighths inch uh, aluminum, and it's on four rubber stoppers that I turned upside down, bored a hole through, and it does two things. It dampens the vibration of the whole unit, and it keeps it from dancing around on the table because there is quite a bit of uh, vibration associated with it. Uh, this is a fun project. It took me about about 200 hours to make. No big rush. I don't. I work on it when I want, when I feel like it, and don't. You know, if I don't feel good or I'm not positive, I just stop. But again, no plans. Just out of my head. Grandchildren love it. Granddaughter likes to see it go slow. Grandson likes to see it go fast. <laughs> we'll run it up. We'll run it up to 20 pounds one more time. Right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. 20 pounds. There's 30 pounds right there. I would not want to stick my finger in there. See how slow we can get it running here. Okay, it's not even registering. Okay, well that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Had a fun time building it. And if you like this, check out some of my other engines that are on my channel. There's a lot of different styles. And please subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And I will be building another engine this winter. And again, these are the cylinders already bored. So it'll just be a much larger version of one like this. It'll be two cylinder. You might have a steam chest instead of being an oscillator or a wobbler. Don't know yet. See how I feel. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And hit that like button if you like this. Bye.